Hello and welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Ozara David. You are most welcome. The Lord gave me a message. Uh, he gave me this message on the 23rd of August 2017, which I wrote down. And in, in case you have not subscribed, please subscribe so that you can get updates. Also visit my website egoiopener.com. This is a message. Blessed are they that keep themselves from defilement, for they shall have their place among those who have been sanctified. Their names shall be written in gold. For those who live the ordinary life, they shall be among the commons. This one I hold dearly. He who lives above his fleshy desires and is able to lead his flesh. There are many today who have set up idols for themselves, to whom they subject and yield them and yield their bodies and ultimate desires. Pleasures, sexual pleasures in particular, have become a god that is enthroned in the hearts of men and given preeminence among men's desires. This I will judge, for it is written, You shall have no other gods before me. This is a word of the law. You find that quotation in Exodus 20, chapter 3. There is a lot of defilement today. And one of the biggest ways the devil defies the children of God is through sexual immorality. It is a big problem that sexual immorality is on a very high increase. The mainstream media is promoting it, uh, adverts, uh, lots of uh, ways the devil is promoting sexual immorality. God created sex, but sexual immorality is from the devil. Let us be careful so that we don't get ourselves defied. Today, all the rules that God sex have been broken down. It is now a free world, a free activity. Anybody can have anywhere, anytime, with anything, even with animals. God is sounding a warning. There are laws that guide everything that the Lord has created. There is nothing that God created that he left without laws. Even the way we derive pleasure, if it is not according to the specification of the Lord, we are going to receive judgment and face a penalty on the last day. Everybody is living their lives the way they want. The bodies of people today have become idols. People now worship their human desires, they are the desires of their flesh. People now subject, lots of persons subject their desire, their, their own desire to the will of the flesh and not after the desire of the Lord and the things of the Spirit. God is against this. You must not go to the extreme before you get pleasure. If you defile yourself, if you engage in activities that give you sexual pleasure in a way that is against the law of the Lord. The Bible says that the marital bed should be holy. If you go against this and you go to the extreme because you see other people doing it, you are going to answer on the last day. Sex is a gift from God. It is a way through which people reproduce. But if you do not have it the way God wants it, you are going to give account. Only Satanists are without laws. God is the God of order. He is a God of law. Let us obey Him. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Don't get crazy because you want to derive pleasure. God 
is not against pleasure, but you should not worship your flesh. If you worship your flesh and you enthrone your body as God, you are breaking the commandments of the Lord in Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. He says, You shall have no other gods before me. Let us retrace our steps and stop offending the Lord. Thank you. God bless you.